ways that's one of they nah, that's not a good example. Let's say they weakness is women, right? They can deal find themselves in a situation where they can deal with a woman and even though they're being weak, they can analyze the conversation, what's going on to the to to kind of remediate the cause of their weakness when dealing with them. And once they find their weakness, even if it remains a weakness, they can find out how to make it a strength at their current time. Meaning, if they fall for a woman when they meet her, they cannot show it. They may have failed for her already when they're having a dialogue, but they can they can pretend <laughs> that they're in control when in actuality they're not. You see what I'm saying? Which yeah. means that they don't show that, that individual, that woman, that that she already has, has drew their interest. They can pretend not. So so that's an example of like handling and um, trying to maintain the weakness. Like me. One of my weaknesses is women as well. You know, I like women, but when I deal with them, I deal with them for a certain amount of time and then I leave. That's being that control of the weakness. Because if you don't control it, you'll stay there and you become pretty. That's an example. Um, no. And the prey is subduction. Many people think that they need a woman to be able to advance to the next level. Yeah, they, that, it's necessary for them, you know? Yeah. Most it's, people, it's like having a queen. Most people who feel that they need a woman is because they have they've been indoctrinated and trained and manipulated and lied to countless amount of times that that has become part of their well-being. So... No matter what you tell them, they they feel that that's something that they have to have in order to become better than better selves, to become a better man or whatever. But the truth of the matter is, if you depend on someone else to make you greater, then you've already lost. Because so you're saying so you're saying you don't need a queen to be able to advance in life. No, I don't have a queen. I'm already advanced. <laughs> You're already successful. Yeah, I have three. I have my associate, I have my bachelor, I have my master's, and I'm finishing up my PhD. And I've been able to accomplish more things because I don't have that extra responsibility. Now, I'm not advocating not to be in a relationship. I'm just saying that the lie of you needing to have someone, even if it's a if it's a guy, or whatever, it could be vice versa, a woman having a man. The truth of the matter is. You become dependent on this on that individual, and if you depend on them, your power, your well-being, your future is in their hands because they had they hold in your mind and your in your soul they hold the 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 um, the GPS the navigation to your destiny. They hold it, so you it's like asking someone asking your mother as a child for permission to eat a cookie. Mm -hmm. If you see an opportunity. It's foolish to go ask someone for the approval of you seeking your opportunity. And if you ask for approval, by that time it'll be too late because the opportunity... Right. So, what I think is men should focus on themselves and then when they reach to a position where they where they feel that they want to have children or they want to be in a relationship, they can already have their plans and everything set up. So if everything fails, they have something to fall back on. They have to build their own house first so they can have protection. You don't want to build a house halfway, leave the roof off, and then leave because when you come back, your whole damn house done got rained in. That's a metaphor reason. Right. Build your house, i.e. Your, your temple, your body, your soul. Do soul work to better yourself as an individual. And once you build yourself up as an individual, if you take a loss, you really haven't lost because you have already found yourself before you decide to engage with this individual or engage in that situation or that circumstance. Cool. Make sure your house is well built and stable. <clears throat> but, but the problem is um, a lot of our youth are already having kids. What message do you have for them they don't have a house ready. They don't have financials ready. What message do you have for them who already have kids? Well, that's a good question. That's a good question. 
The thing is, best way to answer that. Go ahead, Caleb. Do you wanna do you wanna answer that? Yeah, I mean, you're a young guy, you know, you're going to school, and uh, what message do you have for, like, your friends? They're around 15, 18, 20. So they're loud. Oh, so they can hear it. What message do you have for them if they already have kids and how they can be successful even though they have kids? It's kind of hard for them. First time, believe in yourself. First time, that's what most... You said believe in yourself? Yeah. Most kids in general don't do that. They don't believe in themselves. Because they think that, like, when when they get pregnant or whatever, even when they feel that life, at one point in the stage in their life, they feel like, you know, they are automatic reject in society, which they are. But unfortunately, society doesn't choose who you're going to be. What, what age range? Like 15 to 20. Well, for number one, their, their children still themselves. They haven't matured or. The mind hasn't developed to the point of taking care of themselves. But yet. but but some of yeah, I agree with you. But some of them they already have kids. Yeah. How can they? How can they like, like fix the mistake? Maybe it's not even a mistake. How can they move forward the way, and better themselves? Well, the thing is, at that point, it's it's not about themselves anymore. It's about their child. That's the that's the, that's the problem. Right. Because. They don't have enough experiences to lay a foundation upon their child. So even if they give them the information and raise them, they can raise them to the best of their ability, but it won't be it won't be efficient enough because they haven't grew up to even figure out who they are themselves. Right. So the child will grow up not completely stable because he or she would have been done acquired or obtained only a certain amount of knowledge because of the person who taught them not having the full experiences as of yet. So they will end up being out in this world like the children we have today that's having the children that you're speaking of right. because they are the, the optimal of their parents having them at a young age because they was misled by their parents and they go all the way back to the root. Right. So the thing is, for those out there who are young who have children right now, my my message to you is is to try to find, try to build a relationship with your father if you don't already have a relationship with your father. If mm -hmm. you do, talk to him, ask him questions. What did he do when he um had children? What are some of the things that he did that helped him within the situation? Get that feedback from him. You know, if you're a woman, if you're if you're a girl out there that they already have a child, talk to your mother and talk to your father. Talk to both of them. Get the knowledge of their experiences and what they did to overcome it. And if they didn't overcome the situation, you'll still get the answer because you know that if they did this and it didn't work, you should do the opposite because mm. it should work. Learning from their mistakes. Right. And what if they don't have parents at all? If they don't what, have what, parents, what advice? They, need, they need to find father figures out there or mother figures. And there's plenty. There's plenty. There's, a, there's plenty out there. It could be a relative. You should start with a relative first, an uncle, mm -hmm. an aunt. So movie cousin. stars, reality shows, all no, those people. That's that's reality. That's entertainment. That's not real. Yeah, yeah. It's, don't it's, follow that. It's them. not real. It's 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 uh it's foolishness. Yeah. A lot if of people you, depend on that, though. If you folk, yeah, they do. If you focus on what another person is doing, who don't even know you exist, you've already lost because number one, you probably never meet them. Number two, you're wasting precious time that you really necessarily don't have living in this century. And number three, you are living in a lie because you're trying to live the life of someone else, and you're trying to self-identify with those individuals that you seek to look up to as mentor. But you know what? On the flip side of that, I don't blame the youth because if 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 I didn't have any parents, I would I would be seeking approval from someone. And if the basketball player is the only one that I have to, you know, to look up to as a father figure, I can't. I, we only can blame it on the parents, you know. Some of them can't 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 help it, you know. So I ain't gonna beat on beat up on them too much, you know. It, it won't be fair because some but, of them. That's but all regardless, they, they should improve. Yeah, especially black. Try to the best of their ability. Especially, especially the black community, right? Mm -hmm. 
the show to improve regardless of the situation. Else. Yeah, right. And but there's you know, he can have black, white, Hispanic, Indian, yeah, shit, all Nigerian, of all, every 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 human being should take that advice. But the problem is this issue only lurks around in the black community. You don't you don't have too many white young kids out there who who just out there by they out there by choice for the most part. Some of them don't really have parents, but for the most part, they 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 spoil. They just yeah, they don't give a damn. <laughs> they choose not to be successful, you know, because society was created and built for or them, them to, be to be successful. Yeah, it's built, you know. But a lot of them are struggling as well. And in this situation, in a predicament, uh, you can't have a lack of comfort. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't give a fuck. You don't know anything. I, I'm not gonna be like that. I don't care what you're doing. If you don't have confidence in yourself, you're not going nowhere. Once you develop that, then you figure out a way. Whatever you want to pursue at that moment, you figure out how to fulfill it. If you're a young parent at that moment, then like my brother said, you go to father figures and you go to elders and talk to them after the real father or mother, even the grandmother, grandfather, uh, teachers, the future generations like women, how to live like the healthy way or have the way you want to see a child be successful. Um, but you also should um, start working. You have the unfortunate situation. You have to think as an independent. Right. I know that uh, it's unfortunate because you're still young, but you have to think as an independent because it's not, you're not the only person you have to feed anymore. You got to feed you and the child. Now, if you can find somebody who will take care of you both, and that's what you do. Uh, but and when you have your child, think as an independent, think as an individual. Um, figure out what you can do to survive for yourself and that child. Oh, okay, okay. And then, I'll go ahead. As far as kids in general, you need to believe in yourself. And like my brother said, focus on the things that you're good at. And another thing with the negativity of the child that, that the youth position you got going on, let this shit go. There you go. Let that go. Cause it, it's, it's a waste of energy. Yeah. Toxic relationships or anything, let that go. If it ain't positive, if it ain't nobody feeling positivity to you at that moment, let this shit go. Let it ride. And most importantly, <laughs> and hey, this kind of tickles me, because we don't really talk about this. The reason why all these young men and young women are just out here, all this running around in the world, is because men have lost their ways. It's our fault. It's the, it's the man's fault. Because and we don't we don't take responsibility. We don't take responsibility because we're weak. Men today collectively And they're afraid to admit that they're weak. Collectively, men today in this, in this society are, are weak for the most part. I'm talking about black men. We're cowards. We're, we're weak. We have lost our place. We have lost our ways. We have turned against nature. And now nature has turned against us. And we're dealing with the we, we, we're dealing with the outcome of all the efforts that we have done and engaged in over the past generations. We've had plenty of opportunities and we chose not to get in our rightful place as black men to do what needs to be done. To, to stand on the four principles. Righteousness, honor, nobility, and wisdom. To engage in instinctual conversations with ourselves, to engage in intuitiveness, to, to the, analyze and ponder. And, can and I stop real quick? Can I stop real quick? On the next video, will you uh, explain to us that four principles? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Absolutely. All right. Any, any, anything else you want to say just to close, close this out? Be yourself. You are the only person that you got. You ain't got, ain't, 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 ain't no, you don't have no friend. The only friend is you. Follow you. Do what's best for you. And focus. And put your, set yourself up in a position where you'll be able to survive, to survive what's coming. And I never discuss <laughs> what's coming, but 
I can just say the future is is, is going to be rough. It's going to be it's going to be frightening. And I think men, especially and women, need to find their peace and to enjoy their lives, learn from their mistakes, and get ready. It's about to be a bumpy ride. That's what's up. Peace. All right, peace. Peace. Peace, man. Peace. Uh, <laughs> like you said, it is going to be a bumpy ride. If you ain't been paying attention, then you are already screwed up. But if you have been paying attention, then you know what's going on. You have to, as a human being, not just black and white or any other color, as a human being, you have to pay attention to your surroundings. So if you have paid attention, then you know what's coming. All right, cool. You need to either get aware or you are already too late. Peace. All right. That's what's up. Brotherhood of Sincerity. This is uh, Brother Fanon. This is Caleb. This is good knowledge here from all of us. It's Fresh Fanon, by the way. Oh, yeah. My accent. It's horrible. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Fresh Fanon. It's French. It's French. Francaise. This there you go. My real name, my real name. I, I'm not gonna say it on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to do that. That's cool. And All right. That's not trademark, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna talk about your rap music, everything that you do, your accomplishments, everything that you, all, all the messages, everything that you want to do to help the black, all youth, but particularly helping the black youth today all over the world. That's what's up, man. All right.